In the Indonesian capital of Jakarta, protesters demonstrated for the third consecutive day. Police prevented about a thousand Islamic students entering the grounds of the parliament to deliver their demands. Meanwhile, other protesters burnt effigies of President Bush during separate rallies outside the U.S. Embassy and United Nations building. The protesters called on the Indonesian government to freeze its diplomatic relations with Washington, a demand which didn't even draw a response from officials. About 85% of Indonesia's 210 million population is Muslim, though protests so far have been confined to radical organizations. In Baghdad, demonstrators carried banners and chanted slogans condemning the U.S. air attacks on Afghanistan. Iraq's U.N. ambassador said on Tuesday that his government had nothing to do with the September 11 terrorist attacks. He added that he hoped Washington would, as he put it, be wise enough not to launch military strikes on his country. In Pakistan, scene of the most violent protests so far, the mood was relatively quiet. In Quetta, security was tight and foreign journalists were confined to their hotels in the afternoon. Shops were shut and police took extra precautions to ensure calm in the city. Armored vehicles were parked on many street corners and armed police stood guard on rooftops. Protests were mainly confined to shouting with the occasional burning of an effigy of President Bush.